William Bradley Pitt, yes, that's his real name, is a heartthrob, a leading man, one of the best actors of all time, but most importantly, he loves a snack. Bagels, nachos, cookies, Twinkies, Brad Pitt's had them all. And while it's true that eating goes relatively unnoticed in a lot of movies, so maybe there are other actors with equally voracious appetites we don't notice, I guarantee that Pitt has them beat. He's eaten something in 23 of 47 movies, with a Reddit user estimating that his characters have consumed a whopping 4,986 calories on screen. And sure, on the surface, this idea of Brad Pitt always eating seems like a silly coincidence, a meme, a well-known in-joke that even Tarantino spoofed with this elaborate mac and cheese scene. But believe it or not, the more Brad Pitt eats, the better a film does both critically and at the box office. If Pitt doesn't eat in a movie, it only makes $68 million domestically. If he eats up to 200 calories, that jumps up to $110 million. And if he has a cheat day, that jumps to $143 million. And that is so stupid, right? Why would we, a supposedly intelligent species, deem movies more valuable because there's an attractive man eating in it. Well, I just watched 23 Brad Pitt movies to try and figure that out. And the first piece of the puzzle is... By now, you probably know that actors don't actually eat the food they're shoving into their mouths. There's too many camera setups, too many takes, too much going on in a day of filming. So most of the time, they bite into the food, do the take, then spit it into a bucket. And that might sound a bit precious, a bit Hollywood, especially when the food looks so delicious, like I can't watch this without wanting a burger and a shake immediately. But imagine eating the same thing over and over for a few hours on what might be a really hot set, you'd feel gross and potentially get really sick. For example, this sequence from Forrest Gump was filmed over a day and a half. Life was like a box of chocolates. If Tom Hanks actually swallowed every single chocolate for 18 hours, yeah, not good. So, like everyone else, Brad Pitt doesn't actually eat the food, but you believe he is, right? And this is where we get into the realism of eat acting. Oftentimes, actors go completely overboard when munching on something in a scene. Sometimes the bites are too big or too small, or they don't even touch the food. It's a confusing ballet of over and under acting, and the more you look for it in movies, the more you realize it looks completely unnatural. Therefore, it stands out. The pit looks like a normal person having a snack. Or as casting director Carolyn Liam puts it, he looks like an actual human being eating. And you don't get that a lot. So we notice Pitt's eating because it's so inherently unnoticeable. It's a paradox. But there's more to it than that. One. The only time Pitt's gone on record explaining his eating, he always brings it back to his characters. The most well-known example of this is Rusty from the Oceans franchise. As Pitt explains, He was always on the run, always on the move. I figured mm -hmm. he could never sit down and have a proper meal. to have a proper meal, so he always had to grab something on the run. Therefore, his constant snacking becomes a meaningful character trait. This is also true of Billy Bean in Moneyball, whose constant snacking, spitting, and movement showed his intensity and desperation to achieve something. But sometimes, Pitt's eating is even more central to the plot of a film. For instance, his Character Louis in Interview with the Vampire is trying to kick the habit of human blood, and this is communicated to us through his diet of rats. So his food choices help emphasize that he's a good vampire who doesn't want to murder humans. And in Meet Joe Black, Pitt's peculiar reactions to food remind us that he's not human, as the movie is about death inhabiting a human body. Basically, Pitt is able to alter his style of eating to match the character, a chameleonic, underrated part of his repertoire that you might not care about, but it definitely feeds into all his characters. For instance, we've got cool eating, stress eating, curious eating, very hungry eating, gross eating, I'll eat anything eating, and I've just ran a marathon eating. You might not notice it at the time, but that's the beauty of it. It feeds into his characters subconsciously. And this idea of pit eating has now become its own meta thing, with Tarantino playfully triggering Cliff Booth's insane brawl with the Manson family with, you guessed it, food. Well, dog food to be exact. But all of this character building still doesn't explain the subconscious pleasure we get from watching Pitt eat. The most obvious answer is, yeah, Brad Pitt's really hot, so we'll enjoy watching him do anything. And as Professor Craig Richard explains, this isn't just a sexual attraction thing, it's hardwired human psychology. There are experiments that show that even infants prefer to stare at people who have been determined through whatever cultural definition to be attractive. So, because Pitt's attractive, his eating is attractive to us. But Richard also compares Pitt's eating to ASMR, the pleasurable sensation brought on by watching people do mundane things like drumming their fingers, brushing their hair, or eating 
relaxing things. And while pit snacking is inherently different to ASMR videos because he's not trying to relax you, the effect might be the same due to our primal programming. Because millions of years ago, if a caveman saw a non-threatening person eating food, our brains would switch from fight or flight to calm. But then again, maybe it's just because we like watching famous people doing normal human things. Which sounds a bit silly when you say it out loud. Look, it's Brad Pitt eating. We eat as well. Therefore, he's just like us. But as Professor Fabio Parasicoli states, food is such a universal part of our identities that watching quote unquote superstars doing mundane things can be very soothing. For the same reason people get pleasure looking at tabloids of stars grocery shopping, Brad Pitt is inherently more relatable when he's eating because it's something we all do. So after watching 23 movies, what are the main takeaways? Well, first, he's been in some absolute shockers. Mm. This is good chicken. But also, he actually doesn't eat anywhere near as much as I remembered. He's going for it in the Oceans franchise Moneyball and Meet Joe Black, but there was a bit of a BP hunger strike in the 2010s, and most of his other films, he only gets a meal or two. However, he's back chowing down in modern movies, so maybe it's time for a snack pit renaissance. And honestly, you can take your pick for why we love Bradley's eating. Because he's hot, because he's good at it, because it adds to his characters. Whatever the reason, the numbers don't lie. He eats, we go watch, and it makes more money. So if you're about to direct Pit in his next movie, just give him a sandwich. Give the people what they want. I promise you won't regret it.